Hi, I'm Carol Williams. I teach yoga at River's Edge, and I'm giving you a chair yoga class today. So chair yoga can be when you're in a situation where it's easier to practice in a chair. It can be for those who have knee problems, for instance, or anytime you just feel more comfortable being in a chair. We're going to start with deep breathing. If I were to give you one practice that I think is the most portable and useful, it would be deep breathing. So we'll start with that. Move your sitting bones back just a little bit. Feel them sinking down into the seat of the chair. Feel the backs of your thighs on the chair. And feel the soles of your feet on the floor. Finding the places where you're grounded. Now actively reach down through your sitting bones and feel your upper body lifting slightly. Then holding that position, grounded and light in your upper body, bring one hand to your lower abdomen, just below your waist. Now draw your breath all the way down to the bottom of your lungs. Relax your abdomen. Your belly will swell slightly as you breathe in. It'll shrink back in as you breathe out. Relax your belly. Allow it to swell as you inhale. Allow it to shrink as you exhale. And then move your hands to your lower rib cage. And you might want to touch the fingers of your left and right hand lightly at the center. Inhale down into your belly, then out into your sides. As your lungs fill, your fingers will move away from each other. As your lungs empty, your fingers will touch each other again. Inhale, your lungs swell, pushing the ribs out. Exhale, your lungs shrink, the ribs shrink in, the fingers touch. Fill the belly, then the rib cage. Empty. Rib cage and belly. Then move both hands to your upper chest. You can have one on each side or cross them. Do what feels best to you. Fill your lungs from the bottom all the way up to the top. And exhale slowly, letting the breath drift out. Keep exhaling until you feel empty. And then refill, belly, ribs, upper chest. Exhale. Long, slow breath. Filling from the bottom to the top. Fill all the way up. Exhale slowly and breathe out completely. Allow your lungs to refill. Rest your arms down and continue to feel all that movement in your torso as you breathe. Now bring your fingers to your shoulders. Begin to circle with your elbows. Move in a way that feels good. Loosening muscles, lubricating joints.
reverse, go the other way, adjust it so it really feels good to do this movement. Working out the kinks. And release your arms. Bring your left hand to the seat of the chair. Begin to reach your right arm out and up. Lengthen, inhale. Exhale, begin to curve to the left, finding a stretch up the right side of your body. And breathe. Begin to sweep your arm out and down. Place your right hand on the seat of the chair. Sweep your left arm out and up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, curve to the right. Opening the rib cage on the left side of your body. Breathing into it. And sweep out and down. Lift your shoulders, roll them back, release them down away from your ears. Lengthen your neck by lifting through your crown and begin to turn your head from side to side. Keep it comfortable. You don't need to push. You just need to move. Allow your head to glide from side to side. And when you come back to the center, inhale, tilt your chin up. Exhale, tuck your chin in. Continue moving with your breath, lifting your chin on the inhalation tucking your chin on the exhalation. Bring your chin level. As you inhale, lengthen your neck again, then exhale your left ear toward your left shoulder. Relax your shoulders down. Take a breath in and out. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, right ear toward your right shoulder. Inhale, lift your head back up. And relax. So neck and shoulders are warmed up, loosened, and released. Now lift your right leg, just lift up and lower down. Lubricating your knee, moving the muscles of your leg. When you come up this time, hold and start to circle with your foot and your ankle. Keeping your foot flexible. Reverse, circle the other way. This is strengthening and stretching. Release down. Left leg go up and down. When you lift this time, circle. Move in a way that feels good in your ankle. And reverse, go the other way.
and lower down. When sitting tall, engage your abdomen gently. Lift both legs. Point one foot, then the other. Point and flex. Release your leg down, legs down. Now prop your forearms on your thighs. Wiggle your sitting bones back a little and lengthen by reaching your tailbone and crown away from each other. And if you'd like to, you can bring your feet a little wider apart and fold forward over your thighs and let your head hang. Do what feels right in your body. Keep breathing. Place your palms on your thighs. Press into them to come back up. Now interlace your fingers together in front of you. Inhale, reach up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lower back down. Breathe deeply. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower down. Continue. When you come up this time, turn your palms toward the ceiling. Feel the stretch on the inside of your wrists. Now move your palms behind the back of your head. Let your head rest back into your palms so your face is turning toward the ceiling. Take a deep breath in and out. Bring your head back up. Release your arms. Now turn sideways in your chair. Turn to the right. Keep your right thigh on the chair. Drop your left knee down and point your left foot back so that you can feel a stretch from your thigh to the front of your ankle, the top of your foot. If you want more stretch, you can hold that foot in your hand. You choose what works best for your body today. Take a few deep, slow breaths in and out, relaxing into that stretch. Now bring that foot forward. Slide onto the chair a little deeper. Press down with your sitting bones. Inhale, lengthen your spine and twist toward the back of your chair. Rest your hands on the chair lightly. Keep your spine long, like a spiraling staircase. Always breathing consciously. Inhale. Exhale, release. Turn around. Left thigh on the chair, right knee down, right foot pointing back. And if you want to, lift your right foot. Let your shoulders move back and down. And go back to your breathing. And release, bring your foot forward, slide back onto the chair. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Find just the right amount of twist for your body. Not pushing, just inviting.
inhale, exhale, release, and come back to the center. If it works for you, bring one foot up on the opposite thigh. So this is a hip opener. And if you want to, you can massage your foot. And bring your foot back down and switch. Bring the other foot up. Feel the opening in your hip. And give your foot a massage while you're here. release hands and wrists bring your palms together spread your fingers apart fan them out bring them together continue your elbows are out a little bit Now peel your fingers back and together. Release down. Reach your hands out in front of you. Turn your fingers up and start to circle. Wrists. Reverse. Always move in a way that feels good. No need to create any pain. Your body will let you know how much is enough and how much is too much. Now reach up with your right arm and reach your fingers up toward the ceiling. Now bend your elbow, bring your hand to your upper back, pat yourself on the back. And with your left hand, start to move your elbow back and in slightly. Sit tall, find a stretch that feels good in your body, and breathe. Lower down, reach up with your left arm, stretch up, bring your hand to your back, and with your right hand, gently move your shoulder, move your elbow back and in slightly. Take a few deep breaths in and out. Release. Now reach your arms out to the sides. Wrap your arms around in front of you like you're giving yourself a hug. Relax your shoulders down. Deepen your breathing. Feel your body moving under your arms. Opening your back. And notice which arm is on top so you can switch. Reach out and repeat changing which arm is on top. Drop your shoulders and deepen your breathing.
and release. So I'm going to show you a few in a standing position. Line your feet up so they're hip width apart. The inside edges are parallel with each other. Pick your toes up, spread them out, and put them back down. Interlace your fingers together behind your low back and gently roll your upper arms and shoulders back, opening the upper chest and breathing into it. If you find that this is too much stretch for you, you can use a cloth. I'm using my sock, and that way you can keep your hands a little bit wider apart. Take a couple more breaths. And release. Notice how your arms and shoulders feel. Check your feet again. Hip width apart, parallel, toes spread. Drop down through your heels. Bring your hips right over your ankles. Draw the pelvic floor in and up gently so there's a little lift in your core. Pick your shoulders up, roll them back, lower them down. Let them rest down away from your ears and feel the crown of your head rising. Mountain pose. Feel how you're grounded, centered, and balanced. On the next inhalation, sweep your arms out and up. Turn your palms toward each other, shoulder width apart. Line your bones and your joints up and breathe. As you inhale, reach a little higher. Exhale, let your arms drift out and down. You can practice mountain when you're waiting in line at the grocery store. Now holding on to the back of your chair, start to walk back. Then start to reach back with your sitting bones. Lift your abdomen. You want to stretch your back, so if you feel this all in your legs, bend your knees a little bit. Breathe. Start to walk back to the chair. And that one can be done with your hands on your desk, the kitchen counter, the bathroom counter. It feels wonderful. Bring your right foot forward so it's near the legs of the chair. Step your left foot back and turn your left foot out to a 45 degree angle. Feel the soles of your feet on the floor and holding the back of the chair lightly, bend your right knee and straighten it. Bend and straighten. Do a couple more. Now bend and hold, pointing your kneecap toward your second toe. Ground through both feet and lift your hands. You can lift them a little or you can reach out and up. Warrior one, breathe into your heart. And release your arms. Now straighten your front leg. We're doing archer. 
reach your arms out in front of you. With your left hand, reach back as though you are grabbing an arrow out of your pouch. Bring it forward, and with your left hand, draw back. Feel that stretch, and release forward. We'll do one more. Reach back with your left hand, getting an arrow. Reach it forward, draw back, and release forward. And lower your arms and switch feet. Left foot forward, right foot back at a 45 degree angle. Bend your left knee and straighten and repeat. Bend and hold. Ground through the soles of your feet. Lift your hands a little, or reach them out and up, grounding and rising. Invite the breath in. And straighten your knee, lower your arms. Reach forward for Archer. This time, reach back with your right hand. Take an arrow, bring it forward, and with your right hand, draw back. Release forward. One more, second arrow. Bring it forward, draw back, and release. Release your arms and step back in. Now turn sideways so the chair is next to you and step your feet wide apart. Point your foot toward your chair. Bend your knee. Point your knee toward your second toe and feel both feet grounding evenly. Reach back with your back arm and maybe forward with your right arm. Hold the chair if you'd rather and breathe your body. Straighten your knee, release your arms, and then step back in. Then you can either move the chair to the other side or simply turn around. So the other foot is pointing toward the chair. Feet wide apart, point your foot toward the chair, bend your knee, line it up, Ground both feet, and when you're ready, sweep your arm back and one arm forward. Go back to your breathing. Holding your ground, heart open. And come back up, release your arms, and step back in. Now turn your chair around so you're facing the front of the chair, the seat of the chair. Bring your hands to the seat of the chair. Step your feet back just a comfortable amount and spread your fingers. Reach back with your sitting bones. Now bring your weight forward over your hands. Inhale. Exhale, reach back with your sitting bones. Come forward, strengthening your arms. Reach back. And one more. Good, step back in. And hold the back of your chair if you want to. I'm going to move mine off to the side a little. Balancing pose. Tree. Spread the toes of your right foot and step your weight over your right foot. Make your right leg strong like a tree trunk. Pick your left knee up and turn it out. You can place your foot on your calf, your ankle, 
or down so your toes are touching the floor for support. Reach down through the sole of your foot and reach up with one or both arms. It helps if you, if you gaze at something that isn't moving. Breathe, be a tree. And begin to release. Place your left foot on the floor. Spread your toes. Bring your right knee forward and turn it out. I'm going to show you with my toes on the floor. Make your standing leg firm. And imagine that you're rooting down through the sole of your foot into the earth. Deep roots. And reach up with one arm or both. Reaching into the earth, reaching up toward the sun and the sky. It helps to keep your gaze steady, your breath steady. Then imagine you're gathering light, sunlight between your hands and bring it down into your body. Good. And now come back into a seated position. Okay, come on into a seated position and sit about halfway forward in your chair so you have space between the back of the chair and your back. Place your hands on your thighs. As you inhale, move your heart forward so you're getting a gentle back bend. As you exhale, curl in, letting your back round. Each time you inhale, come into a gentle back bend. Each time you exhale, round forward. Move gently. Breathe deeply. And then flatten, <clears throat> flatten your back. Sit tall. Turn and look toward your left hip so your spine is curving to the left. Come back up. Turn and look toward your right hip. Go from side to side. Imagine your spine flexing from side to side. Spine flexing, all the muscles loosening. And come back to the center. Inhale, sit a little taller. Exhale, twist to the left. Right hand to your left leg and use your left arm any place that it's comfortable. Imagine that you're wringing your body out, wringing any tension, any residual holding, letting it drain away with each exhalation. And release back to the center. As you inhale, sit a little taller, Exhale, twist to the right, left hand to your right leg. Drop your shoulders, deepen your breathing. Notice how your breathing affects the posture. One more deep breath in and out. Come back to the center. 
And now sit comfortably. You might want a pillow behind your low back on your chair. If you're chilly, you might want socks or a blanket over your legs. We're going to take a few minutes to relax. So start by softening the soles of your feet. They support you all the time. Right now, let the soles of your feet be very soft. Relax your ankles and the muscles of your calves. Feel your calf muscles loosening, letting go, relaxing. Take your awareness to your thighs. Feel your thigh muscles getting heavy on the seat of the chair. Feel your hands resting on your thighs. Feel the warmth of your palms and your thighs touching each other. Relax your fingers. Relax your forearms. Relax your upper arms and shoulders, softening and letting go. Relax the muscles of your buttocks. Soften the curve of your low back. Let it rest. Moving up to your mid-back, feel those muscles softening. And up into your upper back. Relax your neck. And find the place where your head feels balanced. The more balanced it is, the less effort holding it up. Let your teeth part to relax your jaw. Soften your mouth inside and around the outside. Soften around your eyes and behind them. Smooth the spot between your eyebrows. Smooth your forehead. Your crown. your scalp and the muscles just beneath your scalp. Without changing it, bring your awareness back to your breathing. Feel the slight movement in your torso as you breathe. A soft movement in your belly, your rib cage, your chest. Very subtle now. A relaxing breath. Resting breath.
Feel the breath rising and falling in your torso like a soft wave. Rising up to the shore of your upper chest, receding back down and out. Slow, relaxing, gentle breath. Peaceful, restful. Resting body. Resting breath. Let your mind rest. Let your mind follow that soft flow of breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. If your mind starts to think about something, when you notice it, bring it back to the breath. Back to your body. Back to this peaceful, quiet, relaxing moment. Being present to the stillness. For this moment, let it be. For this moment, let it all go. Let go. Begin to draw a deeper breath in. Just a long, slow, full breath. And start to move your hands and your fingers. Pick your toes up and wiggle them. Let your eyes begin to open slightly, taking your time, bringing your awareness back into the room. And bring your hands into prayer position and bow to the light in your heart. release. Namaste.